Yes, I've just passed my AZ-104 Azure Administrator exam. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing the courses, questions, and study resources that I used to pass this exam to help those who are on the same journey of trying to get the AZ-104 to pass. And if I didn't find some of the resources that I'm gonna mention in this video, it would have been so much harder to pass this exam. But before we get into it, if you're a tech professional or are on your tech journey, then you should join our free tech community called the Tech Certified Community, where you can network, gain the resources and skills to pass certifications, and gain key advice and tips to fast track your tech career. Now let's get into the video. So for those who don't know, what is the AZ-104 Azure Administrator exam? The AZ-104 Azure Administrator is a Microsoft Associate exam that validates your skills and domain expertise in handling, implementing, and monitoring the Microsoft Azure ecosystem. The certification covers networking, identity, security, storage, computation, compliance, even cost management. Now there are no prerequisites for taking the AZ-104. There is no compulsory thing that you must have done to take this exam. But it is recommended on Microsoft Learn that you have some working knowledge of Azure. And I guess that could be through the projects that you've done if you're not in tech, or maybe you're in a tech role where you have needed to use Azure for a few things, but not had a deep understanding of it. Or maybe you're a pro with Microsoft Azure and have used it for so long and now you want to get certified. Regardless of whichever category you fit into, in your preparation for the exam you will have a great understanding of Azure services, virtual machines, storage in Azure, networking in Azure and all the other things. And if you're taking a Microsoft Associate exam, these three things are the most useful types of resources that you can use to pass one of these exams. Now first is a solid course. Second, loads and loads of practice tests and practice questions. And the third thing that is really helpful is a study craft. Now let's talk about the resources that I used personally and what some of the members of the Tech Certified community regard as great sources to pass the exam. And I'll be putting a link to each of these resources in the description of this video. Firstly, the course, which is probably the most important part of your study for the AZ-104. And this course helped me and many others to get the knowledge and the hands-on practicals to be able to do well on the actual exam and come away with practical knowledge and labs to help you not just understand it, but be able to do it. And that course is a course on Udemy by Scott Duffy. It's called the AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator Exam Prep. It covers pretty much everything in the AZ-104 study curriculum. It has loads of hands-on labs within the course to actually help you with the practicals. It even has a section that you can go back to when you want to renew your certification. Because if you pass the AZ-104 in a year's time, you're going to have to renew it. This course is really thinking ahead. Now, the most important thing about this particular course and what makes it a good resource is that it is updated frequently. As you know, new things are being introduced on Microsoft Azure constantly. Things change fast in tech and things change very fast in the cloud as well. New services get introduced. And the fact that Scott Duffy updates his course regularly means that if you invest in it now, it is a course that you'll continuously be able to come back to as the years go on because he's gonna keep updating it and making sure it's the best course for this particular exam. In our community, we did discover that there were some other platforms and other courses that were seriously outdated and were teaching things about the AZ-104 that had changed two or three years ago. And that just wasn't the case for this course, which is why we're recommending. It's never enough to just have one course option and go and take the exam. So here's the next resource that of course is super helpful and that is Microsoft Learn. Microsoft Learn have their own modules on the AZ-104, but the reason that I personally don't use these modules much is because it is written information. And I learn best by listening to the video, to listening to them talk and explain and demo and show me how it's being done rather than reading. Maybe there are some people who are better with just reading and maybe MS Learn is definitely enough for those people. 
but not for me. It's best used as a place to confirm certain things or look up certain things. When you get a question wrong in some of the exam questions, it's easy to you know go over to Microsoft Learn and then confirm what the real answer is. Now, speaking of questions, it is so necessary to do questions that are somewhat similar to the questions on the exam to help you validate that your learning is going well. I personally noticed that when doing questions and learning that I got this wrong, I'm almost learning more than doing a course or reading about something. Because when I get it wrong, I'm gonna know, okay, that's not it. And then I'm gonna look at the explanation for, the, for what the answer actually is and learn a lot more from that correction. The first practice tests I'll recommend is the one on Microsoft Learn. This one is completely free. There is no investment needed, so there's no harm in taking this as many times as you want. Now, this next practice test was the best thing I found that helped me to pass this exam. And I need you to listen when I say this. If you use the practice test that I'm about to mention, this will help you so much when it comes to the actual exam. And these questions actually come in video format from a YouTube channel called The Tech Blackboard. Not only does the instructor run through questions and give you good answers for those questions, he also explains in detail why this question has this answer. At the point of me making this video, he has a whole playlist of these practice questions for the AZ-104. And they're recent as well. They're not from four or five years ago. So definitely use this, the link is in the description. It's one of the things that helped me so much. Now you might think that's probably enough practice questions to pass the exam, but no. For me, I needed more practice questions and anyone else who needs more practice questions should just go ahead and buy some more. You can get practice questions for really cheap on Udemy. I used this one in particular because it had great reviews. And I actually found that these practice tests were quite similar in difficulty to the actual exam. There were a few questions in there that were so similar to what I found when I took the actual exam. I kind of wished I'd looked deeper into the actual answers for some of those questions. So I would recommend this, but I did also look at some reviews that said, there are one or two questions within these practice tests that are not correct. So I would double check with Microsoft Learn on some of the questions that you're not sure of, but for the most part, this is a solid resource. Now you have so many questions, and I mean so many. The objective when it comes to questions is to do as many as possible, get as many wrong, and do corrections for each one you've got wrong. By the time you've gone through all these questions, you've reached a stage where you're so well-versed, you're good at sussing out which questions are wrong and right. Even if you don't actually know the answer, you have an idea of what might be correct. So if you're taking the AZ-104, I advise you to do as many questions as you possibly can find and make sure you're doing the correction for every question. But if you were to follow this exam and use the three resources for questions that I've mentioned in this video, that would definitely be enough questions. Now there is another resource that I must recommend. And this resource is, of course, John Savile's AZ-104 Study Craft. Everyone knows that when it comes to Microsoft Azure, John Savile is the expert. He knows exactly what he's doing and he gives great explanations on anything Microsoft Azure. This study cram is super helpful, especially when you're very close to actually taking the exam. Maybe you need a refresher on the information you learn in Scott Duffy's course or any other course. So I advise that in the final stages when coming close to taking the exam, you go through this study cram. And now I will give some tips to help you to pass the exam. And these tips were the difference between me actually passing and failing. The first tip is book the exam. Create that pressure for yourself by having a date in the diary. It's so easy to say I'm gonna to study today and then not actually study and you just keep going and not actually taking the exam. Get the exam booked so you have a date to work towards. Pressure makes diamonds, as they always say. The second tip is use Microsoft Learn during the exam. If you didn't know already, Microsoft introduced the use of Microsoft Learn during Microsoft Associate exams. So now you have a tab on Pearson View during your exam where you can use Microsoft Learn. You can confirm the answers that you have no clue of or maybe the ones you're just not sure of. So when you're taking the exam, make sure you use this. This was one of the things that I used that was the difference between me passing and failing. So when it comes to the exam, make full use of this. It's honestly one of the best things. And finally, if you've taken this exam and are on the journey to becoming a cloud engineer, then you need to watch this video next.